guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning and decorating my house for fall. Um, I pulled all my stuff down from the attic like two weeks ago and I haven't gotten to decorating it yet, but I'm excited because this week it's finally gonna to start to cool down and feel really festive. So I'm gonna clean and decorate all in one video because my house isn't crazy messy, but it definitely needs a nice once over, a nice clean before I go and put out all the fall decor. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's go. First things first, before we even get into it, I need to go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get the pumpkin cream cold brew. show you all my decor from last year and then also do like a little Target haul and show you what I got from Target and Bath and Body Works. <laughs> hey girl, what you doing? You like the pumpkin cream cold brew? <laughs> Is it good? I don't think that's the dog. Okay, so right here I've got all of last year's fall decor in this crate and barrel bag. So I'm gonna take it out and show you what's in here. I've got two wood pumpkins that look just like this. This one is like a white wood pumpkin. This is a clear glass pumpkin that I got from Pottery Barn, but they have the exact same thing at Target. They've got this probably everywhere that you look. It's such a simple standard thing. I do have a ginormous glass pumpkin. This I got from Target a couple years ago and they still have it. They also have tinted ones as well if you like that better. And then I got these towels from Home Goods last year. I think that these ones were from Target and then these pumpkin and gourd ones were from Home Goods. And then this was the other pumpkin that I got from Home Goods last year. My favorite thing that I got last year was definitely my wreath for my front door. I thought I got this from Pottery Barn, but I actually got it from Kirkland's. This was my favorite thing. I think it's so beautiful, it's so neutral. I think it works perfectly now all the way to Thanksgiving. Um, I've been tempted to get this garland that I found at Pottery Barn. It looks just like this and I thought it looked so good under my TV, but it might be a little bit much because I like very simple, modern, minimal decor. But if that's your vibe and you like this, you totally like that garland. So first things first, I went to Jewel, which is like a Chicagoland grocery store and I got just a little white pumpkin. This is a real one. Um, I thought this would be cute somewhere in the house. I still have yet to get like pumpkins and stuff for the front door and stuff like that. I'm gonna wait until it's like closer to Halloween once it kind of cools off and stuff. If you get them too early, they go bad fast and then they don't last and then you got like, ugh. Candles I got from Bath and Body Works. They did end up going on sale. I swear they go on sale every weekend. First one I got is Honeycrisp Apple. I have already started burning this. Um, this smells really good. It smells like fresh apples. I also got apple weather, which I feel like smells very, very similar. I've also been burning this too. I feel like these are nice to burn earlier in the season because they're not too crazy fall feeling, but they still give you that fall smell. And then one of my favorites, this is what I actually had in all my fall stuff last year. This is Harvest Gathering. Um, I don't think that they have this packaging anymore though but I have it in this packaging. So this is one, this is the same candle. It's like a true fall smell, kind of reminds me of leaves a lot, but less Christmassy, because I feel like leaves can kind of smell a little Christmassy. I like to wait to burn leaves until November or late October. So harvest gathering, I feel like you can burn that sooner in the season. I also got pumpkin bonfire. This smells amazing. This reminds me so much of marshmallow fireside, but just not as intense. This is one of my favorite smells. It is a little sweet. I. I try not to get too many sweet scents because they can be a little overbearing, but this I think is just, it's the freaking best. And then of course I got leaves. Um, I like what, I like that Bath and Body Works has different packaging. I also got Autumn, but I've already put that up on my little TV stand. That one's like almost gone. That I feel like was one of the best candles to get because I could burn it sooner in the season. So I got that earlier in September and it didn't feel like it was too soon to 
burn it and Ruben really likes that one too and then this one's really random but I thought that this was great for just all year round this is called laundry day and it just smells like really good fresh fabric softener um, moving on to what I got at Target another candle this is the hearth and hand magnolia collection birch and amber candle um let me show you the size reference compared to a bath and body works candle i liked this because of the whole vibe and the way that it looked it kind of just looks like stone and it smells really good too it's not too intense it's very subtle and i feel like this is something that you could burn year round as well i also picked up the mrs meyers hand soap it's in the acorn spice scent i'm actually not a fan of these but i liked that it kind of gave the fall vibe this is for inside the house i thought this would be cute at the sink it says welcome fall with a fox look how cute i love this so this is definitely more traditional than what i normally normally go for in the house i like stuff to be very clean sleek modern minimal and this is definitely like very traditional but i love it i think it's so cute and if it's only for like a month or two i'm fine and then this i really loved this is for our front doormat and this also says welcome fall and then it has this leaf right here which i thought was super cute really festive still minimal and modern and then last but not least i got these from amazon i'm sure target and like all these other stores have them too but so I'm not like a very Halloween decor person. I'm very much so a harvest traditional fall person as far as decor goes. Um, but I saw this all over the, I've seen this all over the internet so many times and I thought, you know what, let me just do it because I think it'd be really cute. So I got these like bat stickers to put on the wall and I thought it would be really cute around the TV. So we'll do that today too. I'm really excited. So in the living room, I just need to fluff up all of these cushions and make them look really nice. We really destroy this whole area every single day. I'd like to think that it looks beautiful always, but no, it pretty much always looks like this until someone's coming over. But although otherwise you can pretty much count on it looking like this. Need to fluff all this up. This is actually probably just gonna stay like this because I like how minimal it looks. I've been thinking about getting that garland from Pottery Barn to put on here, but I just, I think I just like it minimal like this. And then we'll do the bats. So I'm thinking I wanna do the bats kind of like coming up along the side here and kind of curving around this area. I think that'll look so cute. I could also put something in this vase here but i don't want it to obstruct the view of the tv so i'll probably just leave that empty and then um i can just keep swapping out this candle to whatever one i feel like burning in this area standing underneath the lights look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see
Standing underneath the lights Looking to each other So here we are in the living room. It's all clean and vacuumed and wiped down and washed. This area is all clean. I just have to put up the bats, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do that right here. I'm just nervous to do it, but I just wanted to show you the room all clean, minus my uh, false lashes. Are you sad because all your toys are in a bundle and you like them all over? And I put your hump blanket back away? You'll pull it back out. Over here, I just put these pumpkins down here because I don't know where to put them. Maybe once the office is clean, I can put them in there. And then I also just stacked up our candles. Let's do these bats. I'm so excited. So I got these off Amazon. So this is kind of the vibe, like how it's kind of coming out of the fireplace, but I don't have a fireplace, so I'm just thinking kind of around it. Oh yeah, okay. So we're going to make him look a little bit more three-dimensional by folding. That looks so crazy the way that I did it, but hopefully it looks good on the wall. Okay, don't mind the noises that you might hear. I have the dishwasher running, so it's making like sloshing noises, but this is what this turned out to look like. Let me know if you think there are too many bats or if they're too spaced out or what. I think it's good. I kind of rearranged them a couple times, um, but I think I'm happy with how it looks. I kind of wanted it to look like it was coming out of that vase and just kind of coming up and around. So I do have a whole other pack that I didn't use, but I do think it looks really, really cute. Like a touch of spooky, but still modern, still simple. I really, really like it. And then this is this. I switched out the candle to the apple crisp, or I'm sorry, honey crisp apple. You know I got that apple crisp macchiato on the brain. And then these candle uh, candles and candlesticks. These are actually fake ones. Let me turn them on. I got these um, actually in my fall shop with me video got them from hobby lobby there we go all right there i love it okay so i just have to clean up all of the stuff that's on the counter i have to do the dishes um i need to wash the top of the stove it's really really dirty and inside the microwave is really gross and dirty so really need to wipe those down and clean that up so i gotta clean up all of these throw that out do the dishes um just clean all the surfaces i need to vacuum move the shoes those are ruben's boots our sandals those actually stay there because anytime we take the dog out and we got shoes to put on so what I'm thinking is I'm going to put the towels on the oven and the dishwasher. And I think I'm going to put the mat there. I think that'll be a, a really nice spot because then you'll actually have something to stand on when you're doing dishes. And then I'll probably put a pumpkin or something here. I'm thinking of putting one of the pumpkins here. Without there. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel. Because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a ghost in these walls. Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know 
that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go kitchen all clean and decorated I just put that one pumpkin up there got the hand soap sink is all clean and then the new floor mat which I think is so cute super fall and it's cute because it's got a fox put my hand towels there that's a little crooked festive hand towels there everything's nice and cleaned and then all of this is nice and clean got the towels there as well I love seeing a nice clean stove and a nice clean microwave. Oh, feels so good. And a nice clean entry rug. I love vacuuming that. Um, and then over here, this is all clean now. And I just added one of the wooden pumpkins there. This vase is from Pottery Barn. I wish I got the one that looks just like this from CB2 because it's more white. This one's a little bit more beige, but it kind of works during this time of year because I'm adding in more browns and stuff for like the harvesty season. But, um, and then these are faux olive tree branches that I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below. So in the bathroom, um, I just have to clean the toilet, vacuum, Clean the surfaces. I really need to wash the mirror. I've got some dead orchids, orchids in here. I need to get rid of those. Get rid of those flowers and just kind of fall it up a little bit. I'm always just a little... I don't know. I don't know how to decorate in here. And I'm thinking... So I found this one towel. It was a hand towel at Target and I didn't get it. But it's kind of like the color of my shirt. And it says welcome fall in white. I might go back and buy it and put it here. Because I think that would be really cute. Um, but we'll see. So I just need to clean this up. Put the towel away. Ruben put a hook back here. So now we can, ooh, so now we can hang the towel up there. But yeah, I just need to clean all this down 
and put something in here that's more fall. Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea Such a priceless gift to me The salty breeze and the waves The slow pace The salty breeze and the waves I'm out of our place forgot that I have this pompous grass. I think it would be so cute in the bathroom to kind of add some browns in here and then I can add a brown pumpkin and then go get that brown hand towel. So um, here's the pompous grass. I need to cut it. So I think I'm going to cut it to about here. I feel like this looks so much better. So I've got the pompous grass, just like that. I know there's a way to like fluff it out and stuff, but it's shedding like a mother and I don't feel like dragging it around the house. So it's just gonna stay there for the season, just like that. I put the glass pumpkin there to kind of go with the whole theme. My hand soaps are there. I'm gonna go get that towel that I was talking about. And then I just put all of this here like that. I do wish that there was a little bit more height up here, but I think it looks okay, and I don't have to worry about something being on the windowsill, but I think that's really cute, really festive, and makes my heart happy. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me clean my house and decorate for fall. Let me know if you, th if you see anything out and about and you think, oh, Brie would like that, let me know, because I'm very, very picky with festive decor and just decor in general um but yeah if you see anything you think i'd like it let me know but that's it you guys thank you for watching and hanging out and i'll see you in the next video bye